In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries on this, the feast of St. Bede the Venerable, both a priest and a doctor of the church, by calling to mind for a moment our sins, our failings, and asking the Lord for his pardon, mercy, and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray, O God, who bring light to your church through the learning of the priest Saint Bede, mercifully grant that your servants may always be enlightened by his wisdom and helped by his merits. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, with the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. All together, there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises. His enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth, the father of orphans and the, and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The disciples said to Jesus, now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home, 
and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Very beautiful reading, of course, on this, the uh, Feast of St. Bede, but our national celebration of Memorial Day. Of course, Memorial Day is not just the start of the summer, although it seems to be reduced to that sometimes. It's a day where we really commemorate all those who have given their life in service of our country. A few years ago, I had the uh, opportunity to be in Normandy and to walk on Omaha Beach and to look at the crosses for those who had given their life during the Second World War. One couldn't help but be moved. The scene was very beautiful, and yet you would wonder how terrifying it must have been for those men who were hitting the beach. Think for a moment about the world. What is it that the world offers us? Well, the world offers us war. The world offers us perhaps earthly comforts, but at the same time it offers us addiction. At the same time it inculcates in us a desire, a longing for more, a sense of not being completed. If we think about what it is that the world offers us, it's jealousy, it's envy, it's acquisition, it's dominance. This is the world. And yet, Jesus is offering us something different. Jesus says to his disciples that they are going to be scattered. The reason why they scatter is because they buy into the proposition of the world, the violence, the fear, what is going to happen next. Right? That was the, that's why they are scattered. That's why they are locking themselves away in the upper room. But only when they become self-possessed, knowing that they have this profound and abiding relationship with Jesus Christ, that they are able to be at peace, and because they are at peace, their ministry prospers. We've been hearing how that ministry has prospered as we've been reading through Acts of the Apostles. And so, brothers and sisters, today as we come together uh, for this Memorial Day, maybe we can take a look at the example of Venerable Bede. You know, Bede was a 8th century English Benedictine monk. He was known as Venerable in his own life. Why? because he became a white martyr. A martyr is one who gives one's life for Christ, the pouring out of one's blood for Christ. But that's not what happened with Bede. He had not been asked to be martyred. He became a white martyr because in giving his life and everything for Christ, Lord richly blessed him with the serenity which he was able to communicate to all those with whom he came into contact. And so as we come together on this Memorial Day and on this, the Feast of St. Venerable Bede, let us ask ourselves, how is it that I am able to put aside a worldliness, the cares of the world, and focus my attention more on my relationship with the person of Jesus Christ, to know that he is the one who is my companion and friend. And it is in doing that that I give up the anxiety that comes from the world and embrace the peace that comes from Christ. May God bless you. Let's stand now and offer our prayers of petition to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Pray for all our bishops, priests, deacons, religious. We pray to the Lord. 
We pray for the whole world that it may know the peace given by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters who suffer that their sorrow may be turned to gladness which no one can take from them, we pray to the Lord. For our own community that we may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. And, and to this, particularly on this Memorial Day, remember our soldiers, our sailors, our airmen, our Marines, our Coast Guardsmen. Remember all those who serve our country in various places of government to defend our way of life, our freedom. For them we pray, we pray to the Lord. And in a special way on Memorial Day, we remember all those who have given their life in service of our country, who laid down their life for our freedom. From those who had died in the First World War and the Second World War, those who gave their life in Korea, those who gave their life in Vietnam, in the wars in Iraq and the Middle East, Afghanistan, all those places where there has been such great uh, violence and conflict. We pray for the repose of those who have died and we pray for the consolation of those who have lost a loved one. We pray to the Lord. And in thanksgiving to God for Miss G. Simone, for whom the Mass this morning is offered, we pray to the Lord. O oh God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you, and receive the prayers of those who believe in you, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made for the salvation of your people, so that through the intercession of blessed Bede, we may flee the enticements of sin, and draw near to the company of heaven through the same Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nicholas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Glorious Martyrs, Saint Teresa of Avila, Venerable Bede, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another now the sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof.
Let us pray. Grant our request, we pray, O Lord our God, that defended by the protection of Blessed Bede, we may live by this sacrament of your wisdom and serenity and moderation through the same Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a very nice day and a blessed Labor Day, Memorial Day.